Greetings, everybody. Today in math, we are working on 9.11, subtracting unlike denominators. So subtracting unlike denominators is going to be very similar to what we did yesterday. We still have to go through all of the different rules to find the least common multiple and to make the denominators the same, but except we're going to be subtracting the numerators today and not adding. So let's review the steps. Um, and we'll just check this out. The first is number one, we're gonna find the least common multiple of the denominator. Our problem is 5 sixths minus 3 ninths. So what we have to do is decide six and nine, they have similar factors, but we still need to find the least common multiple. So I'm gonna look at my sixes first. Six times one is six. Six times two is 12. Six times three is 18. Six times four is 24. So now I'm gonna look at the nines and see if I can find a common multiple. Nine times one is nine. Nine times two is 18. Nine times three is 27. And nine times four is 36. Well, I can see that I have my 18s are common. So what I'm gonna do now is I need to determine how many times six goes into 18 and how many times nine goes into 18, and then I'm gonna multiply the numerator and the denominator by those numbers. So that leads us to number two, where we're gonna rewrite the problem with our new denominator. Well, we know that six times three is 18, and five times three is 18, 9 times 2 is 18, and 3 times 2 is 6. So our new problem is 15 18 minus 6 18, and our answer is 9 18. So we would think that would be our final answer, but remember, we have to always simplify our answer. We already subtracted, and now we have to look at our answer and we have to simplify it. So 9 18, we're supposed to find the least common um, denominator now so that we can simplify this and we know that 9 goes into 18 very easily 9 divided by 9 is 1 18 divided by 9 is 2 and so 1 half is our final answer so please remember the steps find the least common multiple for the denominator rewrite the problem with that new denominator by multiplying it subtract and then just check your answer and make sure it's in simplified form Let's do another example. This time I have it done in vertical form. We have 7 tenths minus 3 fifths. Well, as we're looking for multiples of 10 and 5, we have 10, 20, and 30 for 10, and we have 5, 10, and 15. 10 is common in both numbers, so 10 is going to be what we want our denominator to be. Well, 7 tenths is already there, so there's really not much we have to do. It times it by 1 and gives us 7 tenths. But here, the 5 needs to be changed to a 10. So how many times does 5 go into 10? Two times. So we multiply that, and then we multiply it the um, numerator also. 3 times 2 is 6. So 7 tenths minus 6 tenths is 1 tenth. I look at my answer. It's already in its simplest form, so that is can be our final answer. Our next um, example is 5 eighths minus 1 fourth. Well, again, we looked for our a common multiple, 8, 16, 24, 4, 8, 12, and 16. Eights are the first thing that comes up that's common, so we need to change the denominators to 8. This one is already changed, it's already so it stays the same, so we just have to see how many times does 4 go into 8. That's two times. So we change that to 8, and we multiply the numerator 1 times 2. So now we have 2 eighths. So now we can subtract 5 eighths minus 2 eighths, give us 3 eighths. Remember, don't just leave your answer there. You need to make sure, is that in simplest form? Well, and it is in this case because 3 and 8, there's no numbers that can be divided into both of them. So now we're going to go to our final sample. All right, our last example is 2 fourths minus 4 twelfths. Now you might think that's kind of weird. How can you subtract 2 minus 4 and 4 minus 12? But when we look for our common denominator, you're going to see that this is going to work out just fine. So I'm not going to show that extra work because we're just going to talk about it. We do need to find 
that 12 is going to be our common denominator, so our common multiple. So we need to leave our 12 the same, um, but we need to say how many times does 4 go into 12? Well, it goes in 3 times. 4 times 3 is 12. Then we have to do the same thing to the numerator. 2 times 3 is 6. So now we have 6 12s minus 4 12s, which is 2 12s. And I already know they're even numbers, so they're going to go into each other. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 12 divided by 2 is 6. And your final answer is going to be 1 6. Now you're going to continue doing problems in your book. Um, look on your assigned sheet and find out which problems you're going to do. And you're going to do all of these steps again. Um, if you have any problems or questions, just please let me know. And happy subtracting.